My name's Bill and I'm an alcoholic. Step three, made a decision. My will, my thoughts and my prayers. Arriving at the doors of Alcoholics Anonymous was akin to walking into the last chance saloon. It had been a long journey to get there. It had been a difficult journey. It had been a journey of a thousand lies, a thousand resentments and a thousand fears. But once there, the journey through the steps was all about change. It was all about spiritual enlightenment, about not taking another drink. It's said that the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous are what strong people climb towards spiritual perfection but never get there. The day I took my step three, the day I read out the step three prayer, was the day I started the journey into a new spiritual life. A life where I'm swapping my defects for a life beyond my wildest dreams. And it was on that day I made my first sensible decision on sorting my alcoholism out. The first sensible decision I'd made on sorting my drinking out in my life. Step three is just a conclusion of the mind, is no more than that. Where nothing will change unless I look at an alternative life to the one I'd been living, that's all. And my commitment to that change was ultimately what this step is all about. When I made the decision to turn my will and my life over to the care of God, my will is my thoughts and my thoughts are my prayers. And my life is my actions, where all my actions are my gifts back to my higher power. However, I'm only handing over my life to the care of God where I have the option at any time to take that will back, my will. Where carrying out the, this decision is what I aim to do in the remaining nine steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. The step three prayer asks that I may be separated from my difficulties, where my difficulties are my selfishness, my self-seeking, my dishonesty, my inconsiderateness my fear and my resentments. It's a big ask, I know, but what option did I have? It was either make this decision or make a decision to pick up another drink. So until I was going to start to make this decision, nothing was ultimately going to change. Old behaviour is not old behaviour if you're still doing it. And every day since that day, when I took my step three, I've never forgotten that my will is my thoughts and my thoughts are my prayers. And in so doing, I'm building up on a spiritual journey. And since I'm thinking all day, I'm beginning a conscious contact with my higher power 24 hours a day. It turns out this decision was the best decision I've ever made because I haven't had a drink for over a quarter of a century. I've made some pretty stupid decisions in my life, life-changing major decisions that I now regret. But with the decision I took in step three, everything changed. And today, I do wish that all my decisions in life were as rewarding as the decision I made in step three. Bill Shirt, Bristol.